G'day guys, my name is Lyle and welcome to the channel. So we're jumping back into Reacher. This one is episode 5. This one is called No Apologies. So let's jump in and let's have a look. You shouldn't have left her. Just lying dead there. Call 911. Still. We couldn't stick around. Margrave PD is dirty. Who's to say that Atlanta or... Georgia State Police aren't on Kleiner's payroll, too. The only way to make Molly Beth's death mean something is by catching whoever killed her. We can't do that if we're shot dead by crooked cops or rotting away in jail with her murder pinned on us. Yeah, somebody's definitely a mole somewhere. Oh! Is he dead? No, no. What's he doing to you? That's it. Take him doing? home. Dog didn't do anything to anybody. Doesn't deserve this. I told you to stay off my property! <laughs> Oh, yeah, you want another one? Seriously? That's it. Let's see how you like it. Exactly. I would have smacked him again. Oh, boy. Uh, one thing you can't do is... A, oh, look at that poor dog. And that's a big house. What type of car we're we driving now? That'll do. <laughs> okay. Probably not very many Bentleys around. I do like that um, British racing green. That looks nice. Oh, is he on this freaking animal feed again? <laughs> what the? How come your owner's buying you and your pals so much feed? Oh my god. Ah, uh, that's the same thing that's on his shoe. So, why was a banker in a cow field? Oh, that's lovely. <coughs> well, we know exactly who that was. Uh oh. <coughs> I really hope he smacks that kid in the head. Not that I, I, you know, advocating for violence against younger people, but you're interrupting my lunch. Let me ask you something. What kind of man are you? A stupid man? A bitter man? Are you just an insecure, spoiled rich boy hiding behind daddy's money? I think it's that one. I think I know what kind of guy you are. You're the kind of guy that knows things. You knew I'd come after you when I saw what you did to Roscoe. You knew I'd see your truck right outside. A work truck whose bed's never had anything in it other than a keg. Uh. And you knew I'd come in here and cause a problem that would most likely get me in trouble. But know what you don't know? Mm -hmm. What's that? What it feels like when I hit you. Because if you did, you never would have picked up that paint can. Now let me tell you something about Roscoe Conklin. That little cock tease. Oh! Drop it! I never liked you, Dawson. Don't make me prove it. Drop the knife, or I drop you, KJ. Son, put it down. Where did he come from, the dunny? What the? And now he's attacked my son? That's it. You get him out of here. Last time I checked, you were on my boss. Uh, Captain Finley. You're a city boy. So maybe you haven't heard the expression. 
If you keep digging for water under the outhouse, you ain't gonna find nothing you can drink. Molly Beth died because she cared about a reacher. It's Teal. Chief Teal. <clears throat> yes. Uh, I wasn't aware of that. It must have been an oversight on my part. What? Are you kidding me? No, no, no. I just got the report mixed up with something else. Motherfucker, fuck you! Easy. What's going on? Teal just fired me. For what? When the report came in. For Joe's car. I said that the plates matched a rod belonging to a con that Morrison put away. Well, Teal just pulled up the report and saw that the car was reported as having no plates. He said that we're investigating the murder of a goddamn police chief. He's not gonna have shoddy work muck it up and then he shit-canned me. I'm not done with this just because I'm not a cop anymore. We go back to Joe's punch list. It was his blueprint, it should be ours, too. We've been over it. The professors are still out of the country, and your friend Neil is looking into the Memphis angle. There's nothing in Jobling's garage. So it's down to Grace Files. I told you, he didn't leave anything behind. Oh, they'll be hidden somewhere. Just be careful with it. It means a lot to me. We're just gonna smash the top off. <laughs> Empty. No, no, no. Hey, man, come on. They must be different levels. Come on. Empty. Hmm, they're, um, interesting joints, aren't they? Fuck. Ooh. Clever. Okay, so what the hell's the key Is there any kind of file cabinet or lockbox in Gray's house when he died? When we were at the motel in Alabama, you said Gray used to get his hair cut once a week. Yeah. Why does a man with hardly any hair need a weekly trim? Uh, because he wants to look nice? Gray told me to give <laughs> this to nobody but you. Oh. Wow. That's a lot of files. Let me take his Its planner has 116 cattle, all bought at once. Oh my God, here we go with the cows again. It's a weird number. Who buys 116 cattle? You buy a lot, 20, 50, 100. Your point? I don't know. It's just, it's a hell of a lot of animal. <laughs> well, it was. I don't know. I remember when my uncle got up to around 114 or something. Why? So Clanner stops at 116, just under the number where he'd be subject to state inspectors coming on his land, yeah. checking out his operation. What operation? He has cows and a herd that is not that big. Let it rest, Stretch. You know what was big? If you say the amount of animal feed, I swear to God, you're not going to have to worry about Clanner because I will cut your balls off myself. <laughs> to me? Seem there was money pouring out of the fund, but it doesn't match income stream. How does a charity attract this much in donations when, from what I can see, it's solely focused on giving to the Businesses and community groups of one tiny Georgia town. It doesn't. It doesn't need donations when it could just print its own cash. Exactly. He's been buying everyone's silence. It's insurance. If Margrave citizens ever see anything off with Kleiner, or suspect anything, if they're ever put on a jury or even questioned, Kleiner has already bought their loyalty with the Kleiner fund. We need direct proof when can counterfeit cash to Kleiner, and we don't have it. All the places that do this. Why Margrave? Oh, that's small. There are dying place. towns all over. Why, Margrave? Margrave is perfectly located for distribution. The old state route arterial systems cross right through here. Shipping fake cash from here, planner's trucks can avoid federal interstates for most of the trip, literally staying off the radar of cops with a much bigger presence on busier highways. He had a very well-oiled and thought-out operation to protect, so he protected it. It's the Coast Guard blockade. News has been talking about it for days. Blockades have been going on for a year, which means no funny money coming into the U.S. So there's a huge backlog of counterfeit cash overseas, making the whole outfit vulnerable to being caught. And Kleiner's stateside running low on supply. His buyers are expecting pallets of bills he can't provide, and the kind of guys that buy this kind of product don't respond well to disappointment. Great didn't commit suicide. They fucking murdered him. 
fucking bastard spoke at his funeral. Roscoe, you want to save your town, avenge Gray, good. Harness that. Bad people should get what's coming to them. The JW on your brother's punch list was an EPA investigator named Jimmy Dupree Wilkes. Was. Gone down in his home. Dead fed. So FBI jumped in. Determined it was a random burglary gone bad. You think they're wrong? Murder weapon was a small caliber, nine millimeter subsonic. Burglars don't use silencers. Most don't close guns at all. Also, burglars steal things. Nothing was taken. Affirmative. One more odd detail. The body was beaten like a pinata post mortem. That's what they did to my brother. Shit. You're gonna kill a whole lot of people, aren't you? Already started. <laughs> you should know, then, I'm not the only one who thought there was something anomalous. Memphis cop, O'Coin, he caught the Wilkes case and was looking into it before the FBI took over. His original report noted his suspicion. So you tracked him down? He said he's been waiting five years for a call from someone about this. He made a file request for his records. He was looking into toxic pollution levels in the Mississippi. Source? Wish I could tell you, but the first two chapters of Wilkes' report cover the extent of the pollution, and the third chapter, the one that deals with the source, is missing. Let me guess. The EPA can't locate it. Lost like Rono. Like pages were never written. But the pollution seemed to hit hardest at Chester, Arkansas. So that's where we go. Uh, finishing up some more uh, medical examining. Yeah. Um, what can I do for you? Don't tell me there's been another murder. Maybe. No, it would have been better. Oh, God. When Officer Gray died, I remember the mortician saying that they had to fix a cut on his head with makeup and putty because supposedly he was so drunk they fell trying to get up on the chair to, you know, the rope and all. Yeah. What's the Savannah Bananas? There it is. is that baseball? Ooh. You wouldn't have that at the corner of a chair. Come on. I can zoom in tight, see what's there. There it is. Well, that's interesting. When you heighten contrast on skin edema, especially around a head wound, which produces a lot of bleeding, you pick up micro lacerations, which can often show the shape of the object causing the injury. So if I zoom in a little more, Oh, is it going to be the top of his freaking cane? Looks like a diamond, doesn't it? It's that guy's freaking cane. Yeah. Not here about a license. Really, you look government. <laughs> good instincts, but I don't care where you fish. Oh, uh, good. Find out what happened in Chester, to the river. Clearing chemicals, what happened? Took a big shit upstream, shit floated downstream. Now all we got left is shit. Who's Claren? Bunch of rich people in business clothes who tore through our town like locusts, not even leaving bark on the trees. Why well, are you to do with animal fishing? Food? I mean, production of it, selling it. You don't have to eat the fish. Claren chemical, not Claren grain and seed. You ain't the first man come through asking about our stretch of the river. EPA came through here years ago talking about. How the geography makes the toxins settle here. Killing all the crawdads and catfish. Said he was going to clean it up because no one could earn on the water anymore. You know what he did? Nothing. Nothing. Know why? No. He was killed. Yeah, well. So was this town. So, Claire and Chemical's been out of business for years. Not bankruptcy, though. Just dissolved. But it was a parent corporation. Kleiner Industries. Looks like Kleiner destroyed Chester and moved on to Margrave. Miss Conklin, you come to clean out your desk? I got my handkerchief, you asshole. The hell is wrong with you? We've been playing cat and mouse with them. They were suspicious, but now they know you know something. I know that old bastard killed Gray. By now, Tails calling for your arrest. 
And once you're in custody, they'll take you out like they tried to kill Richard when they had him locked up. <sighs> you're not eight feet tall, 300 pounds like our friend. I gotta get you out of town. You can't show your face in Margrave now. Ah, uh, let me guess, he's dead? Breacher, this is Officer O'Coin. Ah. Uh. This is my partner, Ribido. Guy we're meeting's a small time trigger puller. He knows his place in a food chain. He's not the kind to take out a federal cop, but he keeps his ears open and he's happy to talk when it suits him. What makes you think this will suit him? It's been a go to CI. He wants to keep his seat on the gravy train. Why do we gotta do this, man? This case is closed. We got families. Let it Who go. is this guy? Okay. This mess got a fed kill. It ain't worth our lives, too. If it was worth my brother's life, it's sure as hell worth yours. I'll check in. That way, if anyone comes looking for a crazy white lady with the mean right hand, that clerk won't know she's staying here. Well, as far as MPD's concerned, we aren't even here. I promise I won't come after you. Yeah? What about him? I don't give a shit about you. If you don't kill cops, who does? Out of town talent. A name? Well, uh, I don't know what his mama called him, but he goes by the Black King. That's it? All I know. Roscoe? I'm here. <sighs> Sorry. I just, uh, I lost it. No apologies, remember? You gotta get out of town. Already did. Out of motel? Across the state line, but we have a better option. Picard just called, said that he's gonna lose his job if he doesn't find someone else to take care of Charlie and the kids, so... I'm gonna take over. What about the Tweed tornado? Thinking we have to kick things up a notch. Grace files gonna have everything we need, right? Know who's due? Kleiners. I go to the source after hours, see if I can get evidence that nails this thing down. No security cameras, remember? Got a lead on a shooter who took out an EPA agent digging in the Kleiner. It's a matter of time before I get my hands on him. When we get to the precinct, we'll go through the alias database. We'll look up Viking, see what pops up. People behind this have reach. Maybe even in the Memphis PD, we can't just walk right in. Oh, what? No, we can't get in. What are you doing, man? Riverdale, hold on. Shoot him, coin. What the, the hell? Man. You gotta go, shoot him. Go, hey, bro, hold they on. They to torture my family. Shoot Draw your weapon. They showed me a fire. video of them coming. Draw your weapon and fire. Off. You don't have to do this. There's no need. You're gonna fire. You're shoot gonna die. You don't have to do this. Put your gun down and shoot him. Shoot him. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Don't do this. God. So, so. I knew this guy was a bit. Pull the woods. Bit off. Open the door up. I'm gonna shoot you real quick. Ross clean shot. Best in. <laughs> I promise a clean shot. Yeah, we're just gonna sit there and wait for it, mate. Straight in the water. Hey! Help! Get me out here, please! Help! Nope. Who threatened you? I don't know! I need a knife! Help! I don't know that accent, but all I know, please! My friend and I are getting out of here. I can try and take you with us, but if I do, you're going to jail. And they'll kill you inside. And then they'll come for your family, and you know what they'll do to them. It's your call. What more should I think? Take a deep breath. Oh, well, I guess that's convenient. By the time they find that cruiser, there'll be no evidence left that they were even in the back of it. Okay, I wonder if he's going to get busted. Fairly straightforward. <laughs> and now you gotta get in there. Is 
take it they wouldn't have any alarm because there's no cameras. Okay. And you're gonna get busted so bad. Did yes, not expect that. Oh, oh, what the? Okay. Okay, that just changes the whole plot. So if he's not the head, who is the head honcho then? Is it teal? I don't think it'd be teal. It doesn't seem smart enough. Mm. That's interesting. That is interesting. Okay. Okay. So, a few more bits of information. Obviously, teal is a... Um, he's got a target on his back already. Um, Roscoe is definitely out for his blood. Uh... So Klein is dead, so who is running the show then? Oh man, that just opens it up. That just opens it up. It's obviously a massive operation, you know. They've got cops on the payroll, obviously not just in Margrave, um, but in other cities as well too. So the reach is very, very long. Um, so we've got maybe maybe another hitman in the game as well. Um, We'll have to see what happens there. Man. Okay, that that kind of threw me completely off. I thought Kleiner was going to be head honcho. That's who we're after. Um, but he's sitting there with, I don't know, his throat opened up like a Colombian necktie. What is going on? Um, okay, that's... Okay, that's... That's a good throw. That's a good throw for a loop. Um, I, I okay. That's just completely throw me. Um, that's it's it is hotting up. It is heating up. I don't know what's going to happen. We're going to have to come back. A um, couple more episodes in this series. Excuse me. In this season, so we still have a few more bits and pieces to go through. But this this. See, uh, series always ends on a, a cliffhanger. It's like, what the heck? What? Uh, right from that first episode, you know, when we found out that was his brother. It's like, okay. Um, wow, that really threw me. That really threw me. It's like, what the heck is going on now? Can't wait to watch the next episode. So, guys, you definitely got to come back for that one. Thank you very much for joining me. Make sure you stay safe, and I'll definitely see you in the next reaction video. Did you enjoy that video? Why not watch another one?